This video is generated in answer to a question by my friend Forrest, whose picture you see there in the upper right hand corner. Um, Forrest asked me about uh, how I intersperse comments within a message. As you'll note in his email and in many emails, people tend to post at the top their reply to messages that are below them. And there is a, a tag that goes in my tagline file that says this. The answer is because it reverses the logical flow of conversation. And the question is, why is top posting frowned upon? In other words, here you have an example of top posting. The question is below and then the answer is above. That's not quite very logical. So instead of doing that, I do something else. In order to do this using a program called the bat, I simply highlight the portion of your message that I want to respond to and I press F4 which will quote that text in my message and generate a reply. And here we have the reply that the email generated. Now in order to prepare to intersperse my comments I simply click the cursor where I want to enter a comment, press enter a few times, reflow the paragraph which means basically that I the paragraph will be reformatted so that it fits the right margin that I've set on my email program. And I'm going to do it in this paragraph here. Watch how it changes. And then I'm going to go up and do it in the paragraph or the part where I just jumped in and, and split it out. And then I simply go to the next place where I want to intersperse a comment. And I do the same thing again. Alt-L reflows the paragraph. Go back up here and do the same thing with this one. And that one didn't change any. And then I go to the next place where I want it. And press Alt-L again. And then all I have to do is go back and enter my comments where I want to. So, for instance, I would come here, a couple of spaces, and then I could begin typing my reply. So that's how I do it. You don't have to have the bat to intersperse comments, but it does help because of the fact that it adds the uh, initials at the beginning and it's intelligent enough to reflow the paragraphs the way it does. So that's how I do it.